Welcome to Nick's Life. We're going to fix a GE Profile dishwasher that's not cleaning too well. So I have a GE Profile dishwasher. It is uh, model PDW82, yada, yada, yada. And um, the top dishes up here are not getting clean. Uh, and so we're going to try to clean out the filter which uh, if it's clogged, it would prevent the water uh, from getting up to the top section. So we first start by just taking this bottom rack out. Then uh, we're going to take the top rack out and we have to take these two clips off here and here. Then we can slide this out just to get more space to work. So these clips, uh, to take off the rack, you gotta take these clips out and you just pry it and pull it and they come right off. That way the whole thing can slide out. Okay, so we have the rack out and we're going to first take this piece off. You take it off by lifting it up and turning it. So it's the trick, lift it up and turn it, it comes right off and clean out all of the that next this piece just counterclockwise turns and comes off i used uh, some pliers here prying them on these two sides and it pops right off sort of like snaps in there this then can just lift straight out very easily I had to clean that all out and then um there's a uh, bolt here that you unscrew, and this comes off real easy. You want to clean this out real good. And then there's two clips right here that you just push, and it allows this uh, pipe segment. Uh, you can take it off the top here a little bit, and then uh, this whole two clips, just pry those clips apart, and this will come off. Once you loosen it from there, this bottom part just comes right, slides right out pretty easily. So you have this whole piece that you can take out. With that out, you can then just lift this up and we're left with just that. So from here, uh, what we need to do is use a screwdriver and you can pry in underneath here and it well, you have to pry in from both sides and this uh, drain filter will pop up. So pry in here, hold that, and then pry in from the other side and it will uh, come out. So uh, by prying in from both sides and squeezing real tight here, this will come pop up. So we're basically prying down to push this in here and then on this side we're pushing in this. And this was all uh, full of stuff that I cleaned out. With that off, we can pull this out easily. We don't have to take this piece out. Another video I saw said we had to unscrew this, but we really don't have to. Uh, this comes up real easily. Again, this was all filthy. I cleaned it out. So I ran water uh, into here and into there and into there and just had water go through this pipe to make sure it was fully cleaned. For this piece, I put the water in here and just made sure all the water was coming out of all the holes. And I did find, I used a paper clip just like this. And uh, this one side, I had to just wiggle it around inside here. Uh, there was some dirt or uh, food stuck in this one hole. This is the top piece with that screw. Uh, I ran water into the top here uh, and then also made sure the water was coming out. It looks like it only comes out of this one spot and I just ran water both ways into here. It would come out here and then I would put, send water into here like this. So the water to come out that side hole. So we'll send the water in here like that. Here, just running water in here and making sure the water comes out of these holes underneath the 
put it hit back, we just put, after cleaning that, we just put that back in. And then this part goes like this with this um, opening section here. And when you push it down, it just snaps in like that. We can then put this cover back on. It just lies on top, doesn't really snap in, just lies there. Next, we have to put the uh, pipe back in. It goes in along the bottom. If you put it at an angle, it will uh, fit in on the bottom. Uh, and then if you there's two clips, you can just push it in. It'll snap into that center section where the two clips are. And then the top piece just has to fit up into that little uh, mount. So it's pretty easy to put back. Next, we put the top spray arm back in. It just uh, screws in pretty easily. Do have to tighten this up with some pliers. I think it's a quarter inch, uh, but I just use pliers to tighten it pretty easily and make sure it spins. Okay, we're gonna put the top rack back in. The top rack has uh, this piece that we have to take off. So we're just going to use some pliers or a uh, wrench to pull the unscrew. So with this screw off, just uh, unscrew that. This comes right off and we want to clean this out good, sending water in all the holes and making sure it cleans. So we're just going to send water in all the directions and make sure nothing is obstructed. dirt on here. Looks like it's coming out good. Just send water into these just to make sure everything. And then last but not least, we're gonna get some water through here. It's gonna be a little tricky. So I was able to use my extension hose here. Just run water through this. I'll put it coming to the other side too. Make sure when you put this back on that the holes, these holes here are facing up uh, there. So the uh, rack slides in uh, on these holes. You send uh, these here in through the little racks and then these clips just clip back on uh, like this and put one on each side so while I had this open I just used a paper towel and rubbed all along the edge here uh, it was pretty dirty and filthy uh, just to get the junk off all the way around there and uh, I think we're uh, good to go. So we're all done. Uh, we're going to give it a try and uh, see if it cleans better. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe on the top left and share the video with your friends. My other Model 3 videos are here in the middle. If you want 1,000 miles of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are on the right. And check out my new channel, Pickleball is Life. It's a great game and subscribe on the bottom left. Take care.